All right, we'll solve this. We'll solve it. So, Paris goes off. So, the, 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 the story of Troy, the movie Troy, started the movie way too late. Okay? They didn't even show the background of why the war started in the first place. So, they're pretty stupid about that. They, the, the, they try to make the story about Achilles, and the story of Troy is not even about Achilles. He was just a side character in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in that whole legend, right? So, basically, this bitch-ass dude, Paris, is the second son of the king of Troy, right? And he's the, he's the, he's the younger brother of that handsome dude. Eric Bana, right? He's the younger brother of Eric Bana. Was he, and I'm pretty sure, not only was he the younger brother of Eric Bana, he was the adopted younger brother of Eric Bana because that motherfucker was not blood, right? So they adopted this kid. This bitch-ass kid that was sent down from the heavens or whatever the fuck. He has some ties with the gods or something. There was a curse on, the th there was a curse on Paris from the gods that uh, some shit wild shit's gonna happen in his life, right? I can't remember the exact curse. Because I don't know voodoo like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not woo-woo. I can't repeat the curse. And I'm not into seances. I'm not trying to invite any ghosts or, you know, demons up in this bitch. So, we j I've been telling... I keep telling the story more and more in reverse. I'm just, I started here. And then I was he was an adult. Now I went to him as a kid. I'm going to go back to his inception. Now, his parents. Thesis... Th I keep calling them Thesis because it's a dumbass name. Yo, the Thesis? Stupid fucking name. Paris. Curse on him. Got adopted by the king. Why? Who knows? I'm pretty sure that's how it happened. Now, this bitch-ass dude, this bitch-ass kid, Paris, goes up, grows up, and, you know, his older brother got his shit together. His older brother's like, yo, I'm gonna be the king of this ruling country, Troy, this nation, whatever you want to call it. We got the, uh, the waters are right there. We're in the middle of everything. We got the jackpot, okay? We hit the jackpot, motherland. Uh, we have the best spot. We have all the best trade routes. The, the fucking sea is right there. Everything got to go through us, right? So, he's like, yo, I'm going to be king soon when my old man finally kicks the bucket. I got my wife and kids or whatever the fuck, and we doing some real shit here. And then, and then he got a bitch-ass younger brother that was adopted, and Paris is like, yo, I don't want to fucking uh, marry nobody, and I'm not really part of this family. And, uh, uh, so I'm just gonna go around and fuck bitches for a while, which is whatever. You can do you. You're a fucking prince and bitches want to sleep with you. So, 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 so the king goes, Hey, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go across the sea and I want you to strengthen the ties, the bond that we have with, is it Sparta? No, it wasn't Spartan. It was another kingdom, right? That wasn't Troy. And I can't remember the fucking... Who were the Trojans fighting? Somebody, right? Anyway, it was somebody that they already had good ties with. But they wanted to strengthen ties. And so he sent... The, he basically sent Paris on a bullshit mission. Just to make him feel relevant, right? Because Paris is an absolute fuck. He ain't doing shit. He's the fucking spoiled ass kid. Even though he shouldn't be the spoiled kid. He should be the kid that has his shit in order because he was adopted. But he's not like, he ain't like that. He's an idiot. He's a fucking, Paris is a bitch ass kid, right? So he sends him on this bullshit mission. He's like, yo, there's no fucking way you can mess up this mission. Go out there. Strengthen it. We're going to give you, dude, it's simple. I'm giving you this fucking treasure chest. You put the treasure chest Carry it onto the ship, or have one of your slaves do it. Take the ship, go to Sparta, or wherever. Unload the treasure, give it to the king, have dinner with the family, high-five them, and come fucking back. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Wine them, dine them, and leave. This motherfucker Paris goes over there, meets with the king. Everything's handy-dandy. Is that, a th is that a phrase? Handy dandy? It is now. Everything's handy dandy. He gives him the fucking... So far, so good. He made the trip. He, la he went to the right fucking place. Because he had help. Bitch-ass Paris. He got to the place that he needed to go to. Unloaded the treasure. Met the king. Was like, hey, king. 
This is what my king sent you. And the king was like, phenomenal. We, I was looking for some more sheep wool and mirrors and jewels. Give that shit to my wife, man. And so he's like, Paris, come, let's have dinner. Please eat with me, sit with me, eat with me. To be continued. Hold on a sec. I gotta restart this fucking... It's been 25 minutes. Usually I wait a little bit longer, but y'all know how we do. We're gonna do it a little early. All right, recording's back up. So, he, he said, Paris, come have dinner with me. Thank you for making that trip. Tell your father I say what's up, but I'm glad you're here. Have dinner. Let's enjoy the wine. Let's enjoy the food that these slaves that I got. I bet you my slaves can cook better than your slaves. Slaves! Make the food, right? So they're sitting, they're chilling, having a good time. Everyone's getting drunk. And then all of a sudden he's like, yo, bring the treasures to my wife. And he got a young ass wife, right? He got this young ass wife named Helen. And Helen comes down the stairs and Paris is all of a sudden enamored. He's like, yo, the first glance that he takes at this bitch, the first thought that he goes through Paris's bitch ass head is, I'm going to fuck this bitch, right? And so... The king, him, the wife, everybody's getting trashed. The king gets trashed. King goes to sleep. Paris sneaks off with the wife and fucks the wife. Right? Bitch-ass Paris doing bitch-ass Paris shit because that's what Paris be doing. He's an absolute liability, okay? He's as much of a liability for the Trojans as that bitch-ass dude from the notebook was at cornerback for the Titans in Remember the Titans. He was an absolute liability at cornerback. That dude was trapped. And also, hey, do you remember in Remember the Titans when Petey dropped the... He kept fucking dropping the ball, fumbling for some reason. Who knows why? He was supposed to rush for 2,000 yards, man. But that shit didn't happen. He kept fumbling the fucking ball. So Herman Boone pulled him out the game and says, Petey, keep dropping the fucking ball. Sit your bitch ass on the bench. And Petey's like, oh, no. And then he's like, yo, shut the fuck up and sit on the bench until you learn how to hold the goddamn ball. We're going to glue your hands together, you bitch. And then, he, and then he slumps off. And then the assistant coach, who was the head coach last year, but lost his fucking teaching, his position, because he white, and everybody was white, and they brought in the black dude. Anyway, he pulls Petey off to the side and goes, yo, Petey, uh, I know that's kind of fucked up. And he's like, yo, that's a fucking... Two, that was a scholarship that I just threw away right there, man. Fucking, I can't play for this shit, man. And he's like, yeah, I understand. Why don't you come play linebacker for me? And he's like, what you mean? He's like, come play linebacker for me. Number 27's out there killing it. Come play linebacker for me. And uh, and so he he pulls Petey. Or he's like, yeah. He's like, what you mean, what you mean now? That's, what, that's literally what he said. He goes, what you mean right now? He's like, yeah, it's fine. You'll be fine. Just go play linebacker for me. It's fine, just cover 21, whatever the fucking number was. You just cover number 27. And he's like, and he's all there freaked out. He's like, and then so he sends PD in the game, and he pulls out that bitch-ass dude from the notebook. What's his name? Ryan Gosling. So he pulls Ryan Gosling out, right? He's like, go play linebacker for me, and he pulls out Ryan Gosling, right? And then Ryan Gosling's dad's freaking out on the, he's pulling my kid! He's pulling my kid! Right? So, and then, and then Hayden Panettiere's little, yet, little tiny ass is like, he's just getting beat. He's like, shut up, little girl. How you pulling my kid? And then he's like, he's just getting beat on defense. He pulls that kid out, right? So, he pulls that kid out, puts PD in the linebacker. PD's playing linebacker. He's literally behind the line, back in the line, right? I don't know if he's a middle or side linebacker. I don't know what position he's playing, but he's one of the linebackers. Now, the problem that I have with this is... He puts Petey in at linebacker. Ryan Gosling's character was a corner. So why would he pull out Ryan Gosling? Did he pull out Ryan Gosling and then shift somebody else over to corner and put Petey in at corner? Because Petey's playing linebacker. And we know the other dude's playing corner because he kept getting beat on the corner by the receiver. So none of that shit even made sense. Get your shit together. Remember the Titans? That's one of my favorite football movies of all time. One of my favorite sports movies in general of all time. And y'all fucked up the positions of football. You put this bitches, this bitches, you put PD in at linebacker and you pulled out a corner. That shit don't make sense, man. Get your shit together. Now, back to Paris's bitch ass. I just gotta get that off my chest. Paris. So Paris sleeps with the Spartan King's wife. 
and he decides, you know what? I'm not going to go back tonight or tomorrow. I'm going to stay for like a week. So he hangs out there for like a week. Fucking his wife on the low. Like a scumbag. Right? Because that's what Paris do. Paris out here doing Paris shit. Because he's been handing shit to him. Shit's been handed to him since he was a kid. Even though he was a fucking adopted kid. The worst... Ad By the way, worst adopted kid in history. Paris. The worst adopted kid in history. That's the name of this fucking podcast. Paris was the... W Trojan... Kingdom... Paris... Was the wor uh, worst adopted kid in history, right? So... Sticks around for a week fucking this bitch. And then finally decides, you know what? It's time for me to go home. And even the king is probably like, Paris, isn't it time for you to go home? You've been eating my fucking food for a week. Okay, it's cool. You brought the wool. You didn't even bring the meat from the sheep. You just shaved the fucking sheep and kicked them off the side of a mountain. I could have used that meat. And now you out here fucking my wife. He didn't know about it, right? So... He's like, Paris, isn't it time to go home? And Paris like, you right, it's time to go home. And he goes, one more, this is my last night. And on that last night, he's fucking the wife again, Helen, who's young, super young. King is old, Helen is young, Paris is young, whatever. They're fucking, and he's like, bitch, you need to come back with me, fuck this. And she's like, I can't come back. He's like, no, bitch, you need to come back with me. I can't live without you. This is, more, is this, this relationship that I found within the last four days, has been the greatest relationship I've ever seen in my life. You're the most beautiful woman. I can't not be with you forever. These last four days of my life have been mind-altering, life-changing. Please come back with me. And she's like, I can. He's like, bitch, you need to. And for some reason, they go to bed, and he wakes up in the morning, and somehow she decides, you know what? Even though I told him no, I'm going to say yes. And so she sneaks off back on a boat with Paris, right? She's coming back with Paris. Ah, and then, uh, did they show that in Troy? I can't remember how Troy started. I could have sworn Troy just started with, with fucking Brad Pitt just swinging his sword and shit and people praising him. I thought, Par I thought the movie Troy started with Brad Pitt just waking up next to like two random bitches. I could have sworn that's how Troy started, but maybe Troy did start with them on the ship. I think it started with them on the ship. So you kind of slow, sort of got a backstory, but not really. It just started with them bringing the bitch back on a ship, right? Um, so he brings this bitch back, sneaking her in a box. Uh, and I think in Troy, in the movie Troy... He came, Eric Bana went with him. So in the movie Troy, the king was like, yo, I want Paris to do this, but actually I'm sending um, Eric Bana's character, Hector. Hector. Hey, also, why is your name Hector, man? You ain't fucking, you, you, you European. You ain't Mexican. Hector. Hector. I'm here to save the day. Why was his name Hector? So in the movie Troy, he sent Hector and Paris tagged along. But the real story is Paris went. That was Paris's mission, right? So, Paris comes back with this bitch in a box. He's like, this is my bitch in a box. <laughs> uh, this my bitch in a box. Uh, uh, and, uh, and then, so she comes back, and they welcome her. They're like, oh my god, this is, uh, this is, this, this is Paris coming back from his mission. Why is, uh, why is Helen of Sparta, or wherever, was she Helen of Sparta at the time? Why is Helen here? It, uh, and then he's like, hey, Paris, thanks for coming back. And Hector's like, oh, Paris, holy shit. What the fuck is that bitch doing here? And then everyone's like, is, is the king of Sparta here? And he's like, nope, it's just Helen. And they're like, what you mean is just Helen? And he's like, well, dad... Helen decided that she don't want to be with that king anymore and she want to be with me, so she came back with me. And everyone was like, skirt, what? Hey, dickhead, we told you to go over there and strengthen the bond between our two kingdoms, and you went over there and took his bitch. That's kind of the opposite of what we told you to do. You kind of fucked up, you kind of dropped the ball on that one, huh? And Paris was like, yeah, but you know, um, 
that pussy's just so good, you know, and look, I mean, look at her, she's supposed to be the most beautiful woman in the world, hell in a Sparta just became hell in a Troy, you know what I'm saying, and that's, uh, and then everyone was like, yo, and then everyone was like, okay, we'll, 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 I mean, what are we going to do? Are we going to allow her to stay? And Hector was like, yo, send the bitch back, man. We can't send the bitch back. And, and then Paris was like, yo, you ain't sending that bitch back. That's my bitch now. That's my bitch in a box. She ain't going back. And Hector was like, fucking this idiot. Why did we adopt him? Why did we adopt this kid? Huh? We're going to about to fucking... Get Trojan horsed. Why did we adopt this kid? So, they they allow Helen to stay and Helen gets treated like shit, right? She's there and everyone's like, this fucking trifling ass bitch. You fucking sleeping with other dudes when you got a husband. She gets treated like shit for a while. And so, the morning comes, right? So, so, so now we backtrack. Back to the morning where they left. They leave. The king wakes up. Probably in the afternoon, because he's so fucking drunk from from drinking wine and shit. And he's like, yo, where's Helen? And then everyone's like, we cannot find Helen. Can't find Helen. And then he eventually realizes this bitch left on the ship. And in his mind, and even though it's like, yo, she left because she wanted to leave. He's like, that bitch ain't got a choice. Who says she got a choice in the matter? She didn't leave because she wanted to leave. That bitch ass Paris stole her. And so then he comes tr uh, gathering his armies like, yo, everybody get together. We about to fuck this dude Paris up. So they all end up going to Troy. They're going to battle it out for Paris. Paris gets in a fight with that dude, loses the fight, and then runs off. That's basically what happens. And now in the, in the movie, what happens is in the Troy, Paris is in the middle of the fight. He's whimpering or whatever, and then Eric Banner comes out and stabs the motherfucker and was like, this fight is over, bitch. That's not quite how that happened, um, but in the, in the movie, Troy, that's how that happened. And then, then they recruited Brad Pitt, be and then they recruited Brad Pitt because he didn't want no part of the fucking fight. He's like, yo, I, I don't, I'm not a fucking anybody's slave. I do whatever the fuck I want to. And then his cousin got killed, or his nephew, some shit like that. His cousin, I think. And then that's how they recruited him, because Hector accidentally killed... They brought the cousin, and Hector thought it was him coming for him, and then he killed him first, and realized he killed the cousin, and was like, oh shit. And then Brad Pitt came in at that point, because he's like, yo, this motherfucker killed my cousin, and then he fucked up uh, Eric Manor. Now, in the real story... Uh, Hector doesn't interfere and bitch ass Paris just runs the fuck off and he's like this is what you left me for how did I start on this in the first place yo it's wild that I could just go off on the shit for so long and not even know why I started this in the first place but hey just but the, the point is Paris was a bitch okay Paris was a bitch, and he had a stupid-ass name, and, like, Thesis. That's where it came from. Thesaurus to Thesis to Paris to Helena Troy. That's how we got here, okay? 